and welcome to TJC Online. Hope you've had a good week. Yes? Awesome. Okay. Have you ever seen something absolutely amazing? Andy, what have you seen that's absolutely amazing? Oh, like this best memory ever. Leicester Tigers beating Gloucester down in Cardiff. Champions. Woo! Great. And... Oh, and, and of course you and the kids being born. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. But in the Bible, there's a story that's even more amazing than that. Go on, see if you can bet. See if you can go again. The tigers played in the Bible. Even no, but something even more amazing than that. Oh, I don't know. Um, it'd have to be a pretty hot topic, wouldn't it? Oh, there's an idea. So I'll tell you, there's a story in the Bible about a burning bush. That's what I was thinking about, honest. But not just the bush was burning, because, you know, you see but, fires, bonfires, it all burns up and then it's there and it's just ash. But this one didn't burn up, did it? It didn't burn up. Yeah. And to add it all up, Moses heard, well... Shall we run the story and let you watch it? The Faithful Hall of Fame, Moses. This is Moses. Moses was an Israelite boy born in Egypt in a time when Israelite boys were not supposed to live. Wait, huh? The Israelites were slaves to the Egyptians. But God had a special plan for Moses. Oh, wait. And he spent his childhood in the palace of the Pharaoh. You see, when Moses grew up, he made a big mistake. Uh -oh. Pharaoh found out what Moses had done, and he tried to have Moses killed. Ah! So Moses ran away from Egypt. He stopped in the land of Midian, ah. and seven sisters came to the well to give water to their father's flock. Some shepherds came to drive them away, hey, you. but Moses stood up for the women. Hey. Hey, now these sisters were the daughters of the Midianite priest named Jethro. When Jethro heard what Moses did for his daughters, he sent for Moses. So Moses came to live among the Midianites and he married Zipporah, one of Jethro's daughters. Huh? Meanwhile, back in Egypt, the old Pharaoh died, but he was replaced by a new Pharaoh who continue to treat the Israelites poorly. Ah, oh, man. The Israelites cried out to God because of the terrible things that the Pharaoh made them do. God heard these people and knew it was time to act. One day, Moses was tending Jethro's flock when an angel of the Lord appeared to Moses through a burning bush that would not burn up. Oh. Moses stopped to look at the bush and he heard the voice of God say, Moses, Moses. Hello? God then told Moses how sad he was because of the suffering of his people. He told Moses, that he wanted to do something about it, and he wanted Moses to be the one to do it. Oh, man. But Moses did not think he was the right person to go. God said, I will be with you. Uh, all right. But Moses said that he wouldn't know the right thing to say to the people. So God said to tell the people that God himself had sent him and promised Moses that his plan would be fulfilled 
through Moses. But Moses still said to God that he did not think the people would believe him. So God said, what is that in your head? Oh. Moses said, a staff. God told Moses to throw it on the ground. Wow, OK. Then God told Moses to catch it. God showed Moses another sign and told him to show these signs to the people if they did not believe what he said. Moses still didn't think he would have the right words to say. But God said that he himself was the one who made a man's mouth and gave him the ability to speak, so there was no need to worry. Yet even after all this, Moses said, God, please send someone else. Then God got mad at Moses Oops. and said that he would send Moses' brother Aaron to speak for Moses. So Moses went back to his father-in-law and told him that he needed to go back to Egypt. Moses and his family started their journey back to Egypt. And Moses carried the staff of God in his hand, for this staff would be the tool God would use to demonstrate his awesome power to the Israelites and to the Egyptians. trust there eventually Moses though he wouldn't he just thought oh, I can't do it I can't how many times have you said that how many times have you said I can't do that no maybe I said like every time you asked me to do the tidying up in the house yeah actually. how many times have you said that to, to your mom or dad how many times have you said that to your teacher I can't do it I can't work it out but Moses said it and he realised that God was with him. Indeed. It's about, all about trusting and trusting God. Yeah, and, and that's faith as well. I mean, that's what faith is. Faith is when you have to trust in something that you're not sure about, that you can't see. Um, somebody once told me, I think, faith is believing in the unseen or something similar to that. I'll let you think about it, actually, because it's pretty cool, actually, when you look into it. Ask your mum and dad. So, I think it's time now that we did a quiz and see how well you listened to the story. So, are you ready? Okay. It's quiz time. Where was Moses born? Israel, Egypt or Tewkesbury? Five. Four, three, two, one, and the answer is Egypt. Uh, yeah. You were actually born in, in Egypt. I, don't, I couldn't imagine coming down the Severn, could you? No. Or the Severn, it'd be a bit cold. Check out the story of Moses and the basket. Mm. Spoiler. I bet they know already. What was Moses' father-in-law called? Was it Jethro? Mm. Was it Jacob? Or was it Joseph? Five, four, three, two, one. And the answer is? Not Joseph or Jacob, because I know about them. Yep. I know a song about them, a few no, songs no. about them, actually. It was Jethro. Aye. What was burning? Was it A, a flower, B, a bush, or C, a car. Five, four, three, two, one. And the answer is... A, a bush. bush. Now, if you'd said your dinner, I always burn a dinner. I'm, he does. I'm, he does. I'm a bad cook. You can take away. Okay. And the next <laughs> one is... What did the staff, his stick, turn into? Was it A... A bunch of flowers. <laughs> B a snake. <laughs> or C was it a snail? 
Snails are quite cool. Do they ever tell you about Sammy? Stop. Five, Spons. four, three, two, one. And it the answer is snake. snake. And then when he picked it up again, it turned back into his stick, his staff. Didn't even try and bite him either. No, awesome. Okay, last question. Mm -hmm. What was Moses' brother called? Was it Aaron? Was it Adam? Or was it Augustus? Five, four, three, two, one, and the answer is Aaron. Oh. It was called Aaron. Aaron. So, I hope you got all those right. Mm -hmm. But now I think, yes, parents, it's your favourite point of the session. Oh. It's time for a memory verse. So, here you go. Enjoy. <laughs> Word search to me at this email address. Awesome. 
Put my finger right in there. <laughs> but we really hope you've enjoyed the session. We hope you've learned. We hope you learned about trusting in God in the big things and in the small things. It's all really important. I'm going to ask Andy now to finish with a prayer and we're going to do our big TJC Amen at the end. So if you're ready, put your hands together, close your eyes. And let's pray. Okay. Father, thank you so much that we know that you are there. You are this big work of omnipresent and we trust you because we have faith in you. You always deliver, you're always there. And we're so grateful, Lord, that we can come and ask you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Awesome. Well, we'll see you next week. So, have a great week and bye. It's going to be something.